So this is gonna be one of those videos where I'm doing it because of my own curiosity. We have a 1982 Mercedes 300D here, and I'm gonna try and run it on waste oil. Dude, she purrs like a kitten. Does she? Yeah, I like this car. We're gonna need a few things, one of them being a uh, paint mixer thing here. In addition to our mixer, we need some buckets here. This is all we're getting at Home Depot right now because now I need to get some coffee filters. Oh. <laughs> this reminds me of the, the band a little bit. There is a way more legit way to do this with like a centrifuge and stuff like that, but that's not how we're doing things around here. <laughs> We've come up with this contraption to pour it into the car easier. Dude, look at the delivery on this truck right now. So now that we have all the supplies we're gonna need for this, the last thing we're missing is some clean diesel. Do you think it'll stay running for after I shut it off? You ready to find out? Mm -hmm. I'm saying like one or two seconds. Ready? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing has about a quarter tank of diesel in it right now. So with that being said, I'm going to mix the waste oil in a little bit stronger. I'll probably use like a 70-30 mix or even a 60-40 mix. Here in front of me, we have everything we're gonna need to make this happen. In this bucket right here, we have our used motor oil. And in these buckets, I'm going to be mixing in the diesel and oil combination. That's what this is for here. So to get started, first things first, I'm going to take our coffee filters and I'm going to filter some of this oil. Basically, I'm gonna put the oil in a smaller container and then I'm just gonna sit here and filter the oil into these buckets so that we have like a quarter of motor oil in each one of these buckets and then fill the rest up with the clean diesel. This might get a little bit messy, so here's our cup. I like the way you're thinking. So Chow just thought of this idea of shoving a coffee filter down the funnel and uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna pour a little bit down it. Oh, oh there we go, all right, so. As you can see here, there is filtered clean oil dribbling out of the bottom of that with the filter wedged down it. Dude, look at that. We got a nice steady flow. This will realistically probably take at least another half hour to get it to the level that I want it. <laughs> oh. But no, nah, dude, we're, I'm in this for science. I'm doing this because I want to know. As you can see, we have a good amount of the bucket filled up now. I just kind of want to show how long this takes, so we're going to speed this footage up right now. Double duty. Yep, got two funnels going now. So that's where the oil is. Maybe we'll come up, like I said, about a quarter or a third of the way up the bucket. Got some clean oil. I don't, I don't want to say clean. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. We got filtered oil coming out of there. <laughs> Dude, I feel like one of those guys that can balance like rocks on the beach <laughs> right now, but I found the balance so that I can run three funnels at once. So I've, I've determined. I'm gonna go until this oil level here reaches the top of this S, and then we're gonna get the uh, diesel mixed in there. But we still got a ways to go. As you can see, we filled up a pretty good amount, but I want it up here. All right, as you can see here, the oil is almost to the top of the S, and this system seems to be working very well. It's almost there though, see it? All right, so we finally have this bucket of, quote, clean oil, and uh, I've already started working on the second one here, and we are slowly getting rid of this waste oil in the shop, which is awesome, so. Now I'm gonna pour the diesel into this bucket. Probably gonna try and fill it as much as I can without it splashing all over the place like when we're walking it out to the car. I'm gonna crack the tap. I'll probably get this somewhere up here. Like I said, I don't wanna fill it all the way so that when we're walking with it, it spills over the edge. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a wiggle room there. But for the most part, we're gonna fill this the rest of the way up with clean diesel. 
Now that we have this concoction here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the mixer out and I'm gonna blend this. So the trick here is you can't just quickly stir it around with like a wooden stick or anything. You actually need to blend the fluids together. So I'll probably end up blending it for like 20 minutes and then uh, we'll go from there. It's the black hole, dude. <laughs> So I mixed this up for about 20 minutes. Um, the fluids are definitely blended together. This definitely feels like diesel fuel now. It doesn't have that oily, like thick, like maple syrup feel to it. This batch is ready to go into the car, but we need to use this funnel here to get it into the car cleanly. So I'm just gonna let this whole side here finish what that's doing. And then I'm gonna make the second batch and then we're gonna go ahead and pour the concoction into the car. Are you going to top out the gas? Uh, I don't think there's enough in here to get it all the way to the top. This will get it probably to the same exact level, if not maybe a little bit less. There's a little bit less oil in this bucket too. I only went to the bottom of that S that I was showing earlier because I knew that there wasn't going to be a lot of diesel left. Now for another 20 minutes of this, So here we have two buckets full of what is commonly referred to as black diesel. Now we're at the point where we can pour these into the car. Look at how shiny they are. They are so shiny. Yeah, no, it looks good, dude. Oh, this is kind of heavy. Well, she's drinking it down. Can you see why they nicknamed this Black Diesel? Yeah. How do we know it's enough? I don't know. The car was at a quarter tank before this, so... Just top it off, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Until it starts coming back out. Well, this bucket's almost done, so... We might have to move on to the second bucket, see how much it takes. That's it. This bucket's empty. I'm gonna get the other bucket right now. Ready? Uh-huh. Bucket number two. Go, go, go. Keep going. Oh, oh, we're yeah, back feeding, yeah, yeah, we're back feeding. Uh, there you right, go. We're saving all this, we're saving it all. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of this in a gas can so that if we go driving around, we could fill it up. Perfect. <laughs> Dude, we are ready to hit the road. We have to do the 100 mile challenge. I'm gonna start it up. Smell it a little bit. What does it smell like? It smells like a Civic burning oil. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. We're about to set sail on the 100 mile challenge here. This vehicle, doesn't have a working odometer. So I have here the uh, speed app. It'll show our speed and most importantly, it has an odometer built into it. All right, we're off. Must be nice. As you can see there, we got 40 miles on the odometer. We're at this awesome viewpoint where we saw that deer in that one video. But now that we got 40 miles on it, I can assume that the mixed stuff has gotten into the motor now. And honestly, it doesn't run any differently. But we're going to keep pushing. We're going to break past the 100 mile challenge just to really seal this up. And then we'll see how it runs when we have like 100 or so on there. So we now have 66 miles on our waste engine oil as fuel. We made it to another cool lookout on Chuckanut Drive. Look at how beautiful that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and while we're stopped, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of uh, what we have left of this motor oil diesel combination here. That is the last of our black diesel. We're gonna go ahead and adventure out to one more spot. Like I said, we're gonna break the 100 mile challenge here today. Uh, just because it's really nice. We're out and about. We're cruising. It's really nice out. It was a beautiful view. And I actually kind of really like this car. Gonna get something to eat real quick. What are we at? We are at 77.95 miles. And then we have the ride home. We 
finally made it back. We got 151 miles using a blend of motor oil and diesel fuel. So to conclude this episode, yes, you can use waste motor oil as fuel in some situations, but it can be done. Now we have a really good use for all this waste motor oil laying around the shop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but before I let you guys go, we are having a massive sale on the website right now. So click the link in the description, pick up some stuff, huge sale, save a ton of money, click the link in the description.